So today I want to take a look at the Real Avid Pistol Tool. It is a very compact multi-tool that is perfect for your range bag or for your bench. So we'll start off with the two different sized 1911 bushings. So you'll see that there's a large and a small there. On top they have a nice hammering surface for tapping things into place. Um, this is also non-marring plastic around it. So that's quite nice. Um, I've used it a few times on my 1911s and as you can see it, it'll mar the surface up but it doesn't do anything to the metal which is really 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 nice. Next up you have a really nice beefy pick right here. So this is a lot of steel right here. It's great for getting springs out um, or any kind of stuck item. So it's very very large, very beefy. Um, underneath that you have these four different Allen um, Drivers and those will allow you to those allen wrenches will allow you to do you know lights lasers whatever um, And they're quite nice also by the way these large tools that fold out are all liner locked So right here you have a nice release and a very positive um, tactile you know release So that that's not going to buckle on you Then next up we have this really nice um rather large driver kind of has a filing surface it's hard for you to see but it has a filing surface on this back side and then it has a receiver for these different bits on this side so you have two flats you have an allen a torx and two phillips and they fit in quite nice over here so you pull them out they have detents that retain them so they're not going to fall out. Plus, when that's closed, they can't really fall out. They're stuck in there. So, so it fits in that driver really nicely. Um, so, and again, liner locked. So, press down, fold, and you're back in business. And so then, on top of these different bits, you have this very nice punch right here. So, this punch is threaded. And there are extensions you can get that will allow you to add a like a pistol rod for patches and whatnot on here. Uh, but as it comes, it's just a decent little, very beefy, uh, heavy for its size punch for drifting out pins. And then finally, you have a pretty decent Tonto blade. So get that to focus for you so there you have it It says real avid on one side and on the other it says pistol tool right there so as you can see it does have some jimping on the back um, and I'm not really for sure why it's that far up but I'm assuming it's for your thumb purchase but it is you know it's a very nice um, blade and of course again it's liner locked so everything's gonna be nice and secured one-handed operation it's got the thumb stud on it but it's just a very decent, very nice um, little compact multi-tool. It's almost like, you know, it's a pocket knife that's built around a gun lover. So it's pretty nifty. I, I really like this. I, again, I think this would make a perfect addition, a perfect item for your range bag uh, or your bench, right? So it's not every tool in the world you're going to need, but it's most of them. Um, so it's just a really nice little compact and it's not very expensive. It's not going to break the bank. So let's finish up like we always do with pros and cons. And this little guy certainly fits the bill when it comes to intended use. I think it's very compact. Um, it's very small. It's heavy. It's well made for its size. Um, it's roughly the same size as a 1911, a 45, 1911 mag. So it will fit anywhere on your belt, in your pocket, range bag, molly gear, certainly on your bench. Wherever you do your pistol maintenance at, this is definitely going to fit into whatever system you use. Um, and again, it, it feels heavy uh, and well made for its size. So I think this will certainly uh, hold up. Now, time will tell and we'll have to put it through its paces. I've been using it for a few weeks now and it seems to be okay. Um, so that's probably the biggest pro. The next has to be um, its size, right? It, it is very compact. You get a lot of tools in a small space. And then, of course, the last pro has to be cost, right? It doesn't cost a lot of money for this guy. Um, and so, you know, it fits in line with a lot of the other real avid tools that they make out there for the gun world. And I think this is certainly um, well worth the money. So, 
The only con I'm going to give it is that it's not made in the United States of America. I really wish it was. That's my biggest beef on a lot of the things we review, that they're well thought out, they're well executed, but they're just not employing Americans to make it. They'll sell it to Americans, but they don't employ Americans to make it. So that's my biggest beef with this. Now that being said, I still think it's a very good deal and it's a very good item that I plan on using, but I do really think that this could be made in the States for roughly the same cost. So, as always, if you like these type of videos, please do me a favor, share, like, and comment below. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so, and as always, be safe and be good.